Hi everyone, my name is Krista. I'm the author of The Radical Angel, A True Story. Please find links to my ebook, my social media sites, and to a site to find your personal birth chart in full in the description box. Contact me for personal readings on social media until my website is live at the end of June. You can subscribe also for weekly readings and for videos about subjects that may also appeal to you. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I wish for Aries all success, joy, and wellness. I invoke spirits of love and light, peace, and beauty. I call upon Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, and Archangel Uriel to guide this reading in peace, clarity, protection, and wisdom. I ask Gaia to bless this reading. I'm going to be using three decks today, the uh, medicine cards, Anim Total Medicine cards, the Wisdom of the Oracle cards, and then for final message from our Healing with the Angels Oracle cards. I'm doing a three card reading, central issue, two clarifiers, and an overall energy, and then we'll see what additional messages jump out of the deck once I shuffle the angel oracles. So let's begin. So what are the general messages for Aries for the week of April 18th until the 14th? We're currently in a retrograde in Taurus at the moment. Um, so you can Google retrograding Taurus to learn more about how that's affecting your sign Aries. But for now, let's concentrate on general messages for Aries. And those are three jumpers. So we're going to take these for you. And then the card on the bottom of the deck is the overall energy, which is gross. So we're looking at the antelope, the fox, and the raven and the grouse at the end, um, the medicine cards and the um, wisdom of the oracle cards have numbers on them and I do read number numerology as well. So just very briefly I'm going to look at the numbers and see if there are um, esoteric leanings for the reading so far, if there are practical leanings for the reading or if they're mental or emotional. Um, so 37 is 10, or 3 sevens are 21, so 3, 7, or 2 fives are 10, 16, and 34. So we have both esoteric, so spiritual energies here, and energies of magic. Um, and of the physical world. So there are all sorts of messages that are being looked at right now. So you can apply these however they appeal to you. If there's messages in the card uh, illustrations themselves that I'm not viewing and you are, I would take whatever resonates with you, whether it's words that I'm using or images in the cards. And now let's take three cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. And we're looking for general messages for Aries for the week of April 8th to the 14th. And your first card is Truth Be Told, number 14. In numerology, that would equal um, 5, which is a foundational number. So this is something that you are in control of. No one else can do it for you. The second card, the central issue, is the Fates. Uh, it's... Numerics are 17, which to me in numerology is 8, which is foundation. I'm just looking for one more jumper. What are the general messages for Aries for the week of April 8th to April 14th? messages for my beloved Aries for week April 8th to the 14th. 
Happy birthday to all my Aries friends, by the way. And happy spring to everybody. So general messages for Aries for the week of April 8th to April 14th. And we're just looking for one more card as a clarifier to the fates. I think that was going to come. Got too many there, so I'm gonna keep shuffling till I get one card here. And just need one more card. Here we are. And this is number 19, flexible. So I'll hold them up to the camera so you get a better idea of what these look like. And at the bottom of the deck is Soulmates, which is number 41. So this is lovely. So this is stability. This is something that you are personally in charge of as well. Either you take control or you give up control. So without further ado, let's look at some of the main meanings behind the totem animal cards. The general card at the top of the question, which is what are the general messages for you, is the fox. The fox is such a gorgeous card. Look at these beautiful eyes. So gentle and sweet. So um, two plus five is seven. Seven is magic. So this is something that you might find is available to you because it's from within and it's also attached to things that um, aren't necessarily sensible. You could see that something makes you feel a certain way or makes you think a certain way and it's not based in the evidentiary world or it's not based in science. It's something that's a feeling or a belief. So this is where this card is sitting right now for you. So the central issue is something that you believe um, about the world or yourself and its main message is camouflage so the fox is a sign that you are to become like the wind which is unseen and you can weave into or out of any location or situation so again this is a belief system this is can be your ally um, or if you aren't recognizing this about yourself, it can be used against you because other people can see this about you and you don't see it about yourself. But I'm going to suggest, Aries, not much <laughs> gets past you. So you're aware of this energy within yourself. And again, um, this is, it could be considered a magical uh, energy that you have within. It's not something that someone can give you. It's not something that you can read about and internalize it's something that is inherent to you uh, that you are in charge of. It's asking that you learn the art of camouflage and to use your cunning nature in a positive way. You must gain confidence in your own ability to understand instantly what will happen next, to be able to predict. You are asked to see all types of uses for oneness. Um, so that's just suggesting that you can't forget that you're not the only one who has this energy or this capability that other people do. Uh, other people can be wily as well. But again, I'm not reading any uh, negative or even complicated energy here. I think this is fairly innocent energy. Uh, much like the clowns at the rodeo, fox can keep the raging bull from stampeding a friend or family um, by using silly tactics as a brilliant camouflage move. Indeed, no one can guess the slide power behind some sh such ingenious maneuvers. So this is the message that is central to uh, general messages regarding Aries for this week, is to use your cunning, um, to use it as a camouflage, but in the service of good, in the service of helping someone, or to solve a problem even, or to even stop an argument. Um, so the cards that lie on either side of the central issue are the antelope and the raven. So the antelope is number 37. It's a gorgeous card as well. And she's so gentle. And um, 
but very aware, very alert. And the antelope at number 37 is suggesting action. So its keyword is action. And I'm just going to look at the keyword for raven, which is the number 16. Raven is also a beautiful card. And its totem language is magic. I just want to double check. Okay, it is. So magic and action. <laughs> it's interesting because we can relate both cards here to the central issue, which is cunning in the service of good or to calm people down or to even um, use camouflage or cunning to stop a fight or to bring peace to a situation. This is saying that it is within your hands and like I said it was here, it was um, your responsibility. It's something that you do or don't do. Someone can't do it for you or give it to you. Uh, and this is saying that it really is up to you. It's up to you whether you step in or stay out of it. Uh, and then the raven being magic, this is a very strong type of card. Um, the medicine of magic has been misconstrued over the years to mean something negative, to mean, you know, witches and warlocks and the moon and the night and basically anything misunderstood, the void, the dark, uh, the non-physical, anything can considered spiritual. So I would even go so far to say that this is a very feminine card because all those attributes have been associated with femininity and females and the moon and Gaia and goddesses through millennia. Uh, so whether or not you, if you are female, this is you. This is you mm, encapsulating this uh, type of magic um, because this is your responsibility here in the central issue. If you're not female or if you don't feel that this applies to you, look closely around you for the person who um, exhibits the most of the qualities that I described here. Um, it could be someone that you're very close to or that you just heard of or someone that you watch on YouTube <laughs> um, that you rely on to give you a perspective that comes from, say, the esoteric realm. Uh, but I feel very strongly that this is something that you're comfortable with. Whether or not it is you, it's something that you're comfortable um, in and around. So this magic card, this card of magic is asking you to honor the magician within, and to look for signs, to look for clues that are showing up around you, and to look at them a little bit more spiritually than you have been instead of brushing things off that appeal to you, signs, colors, scents, even songs. Um, look into those a little bit more uh, without trying to figure it out. Just be aware, be willing to be aware that something special is about to happen and it's asking you simply to uh, be prepared to respond to be prepared to respond to the esoteric and to the magic um, that is available to you, that is within. And the grouse is the overall energy, it's number 34, and again 34 is a highly spiritual number. And let's just get an overall idea of the grouse, which is sacred spiral. So how beautiful is that? So this week coming up for you, Aries, it could be a week that includes a lot of internal searching, looking for signs within yourself or looking for things within yourself or around you that have always appealed to you, that have always been magical to you, that you brushed off. Uh, maybe even for fear of... Um, being too closely associated with the esoteric or with femininity even. But this is this is a bonus for you right now because it 
speaks very highly to being an innocent, cunning maneuverability. This is not about negativity at all in your life. Um, and again, the taking action. Um, so this is suggesting that in order to get to the bottom of any issues or any queries that you have, the uh, promise that if you take action in pursuit of bringing peace to a situation is found within, and it's something that you've been confident about for a very long time, but that you haven't paid attention to. And the sacred spiral is asking that you remember this. Remember this moment when this happens for you. Remember um, to recall the sacred spiral, the sacred dance, that we're all in this together, basically, that, that, that there's an element of oneness here, and this is a great spiritual moment for you. So th these are lovely. This is a lovely row of cards. I'm going to continue here with the central issue through the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. So again, the query was what a general message is for the week of the uh, April 8th to the uh, 16th. Uh, sorry, to the 14th for Aries, and the general message is the fates. So this is no light card. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's heavy energy, but it's certainly, um, it's very indicative of what this spread is talking about. So it's not that it's heavy, it's that it's intense. And intensity doesn't mean heaviness. Intensity, in fact, can be quite liberating. You can have an intense moment of recognition or an intense moment of action or even understanding and uh, be changed for it. But you could be changed for the better for it. So let's look briefly at the overall um, definition of the fates, which... And again, this is the card of 17, so its numerology is 8, which is foundation. So very much your foundation. Again, uh, with, these, with this card here, um, meaning something that you bring to your own life. It can't be given to you. This is something that you figure out on your own. And let's look at 17. So the fates, general meanings are fate, karma, Acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. So again, being aware of what's around you and taking action on the issues that you can while being pleasant, even cheeky. I would even say cheeky at this point. This is a really sweet, innocent card. And with, again, with the, with the grouse and the sacred spiral that um, we're all related. So um you won't be doing any harm to anyone else, and no one will be doing any harm to you. This is very, very strongly what I'm seeing here. Um, so again, karma. This The fates is a karmic card, something that could be shifting for you, that you are going to be part and parcel of the shift. This isn't going to be happening to you. This is something that you are going to be um, in cahoots with. So maybe something is happening around you, but you need to take action one way or the other to bring this portion of the karma to life. And then um, qualifying cards to the right is Truth Be Told, which again is another, I love the artistry in this deck. This is number 14. Um, so we're looking at the number five here in numerology. And the number five is again, stability. Uh, anything that you bring to your own life, things that you bring within that you have within and that you uh, exhibit. So it's lovely actually having it under the action card um, because it's something, again, that no one can give to you. You have to find it within yourself and express it. And the general meanings around the truth be told card is a qualifier to your karmic card of the fates. Is, let us see what it says here. Honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. So this is asking you when you do take action in any level over the next week um, to do so without expectation, frankly. Uh, speak your truth and leave it as it is. 
uh, don't speak your truth or take action or be cunning about something or see something esoteric or see the grand spiral of things and expect to be given something for it. Uh, your role right now is to be as honest and accepting about your life and your views and your beliefs and your position as possible without expecting anything in return. It's uh, and, and being clear, obviously. So taking action here would um, tell me, for example, the action will be through communication. Uh, so be aware of this around your karmic fate. And the 19, number 19 card, uh, meaning flexible. You can see that okay. So again, another beautiful card. And its major meanings are around the central karmic card in the center here is number 19. Flexible, teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's important. So isn't this lovely? Uh, again, under the card of magic and esoterum is uh, being able to teach someone else, being able for, as the grouse says, being remembering the oneness and that everyone is connected so that you're not overstepping bounds or boundaries. And, in, you know, by contrast, that you're not letting other people overstep their boundaries with you and being open-minded. So speaking your truth with clarity, being open-minded, not expecting anything in return, um, but being aware of where you stand, why you're doing it, um, and what kind of action you're going to take. And it will be through, um, it appears as though the action will be spoken or written word. Um, and this is all under the energy of soulmates. This is such a gorgeous card. Again, it's um, the numerology is five. It's 41. And uh, five, as we said here, was something that you bring to yourself. It's not something that can be given to you or taken away from you. You have to own it and produce it on your own. And the key words around soulmates are, let's look at this beautiful, beautiful card. Harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. So this is actually so lovely, particularly under the grouse, because it could even mean a universal love, um, a predilection for understanding the need for a universal love, a soulmate love um, for all human beings, or even that all human beings do have soulmates, even if they are alone or with um, an incomplete or inadequate partner at the time, uh, that this really belongs to everybody. The I believe it's the male penguin here has a key to the female penguin's heart. And I've seen this soulmate card come up for platonic friends as well, so it doesn't necessarily mean romance, but again, take from it what appeals to you. So those are general messages concerning um, what you may need to know between now and the 14th of the month so we're going to ask for additional guidance from the healing with the angels oracle cards we're just looking for one card as a clarifier to the reading today boy this reading got long hope you don't mind uh, so let's look at what the angel of the orc here we go and the general message from the angel of the oracle cards is nature so again, such a beautiful card. And what a beautiful discipline as well to recall how much healing energy occurs in nature and how much we are a part of nature and we can never be separate from it. Um, it makes sense with both the grouse, which is the sacred spiral, which is all is one, one is all, and the soulmates. This is the larger human community um, in nature. So I think Aries that you're very strongly in tune with not only karmic energy and being light and fun and playful in getting your point across, but you're also very aware of your own perceptions and your own energies and you're not afraid of them and you're not willing to tolerate people being afraid of them, uh, which is lovely because you don't believe you're the only one to have it. You believe that this is available to everyone. So it's a very fair way of looking at the world, which is why an Aries will never think that they have one up on someone. 
<laughs> because they think that everyone's privy to the same thing. And if you're not practicing it, well, that's on you. If the Aries is practicing it, um, they're just being fully human. So I wish you all the best of luck. This is really, in general, such a beautiful, gentle, loving, um, and self-expressive reading with, with a lot of karmic ties involved this week. So Aries, I wish you a beautiful week, and I look forward to seeing you again for your next weekly reading on the 15th. Have a beautiful day.